the Allagash abductions. On August 20th, 1976, four men were camping in Allagash, Maine, when they were allegedly abducted by an alien spacecraft. They claimed they were brought on board the craft to be analyzed and tested by aliens. The evening of the alleged abduction, the men recalled seeing a UFO several times. They even reported to a ranger who told them it was most likely lights from the store's grand opening nearby. It wasn't until years later when one of the men suffered a fall and seizures that he began to have visions of the night that included alien beings. Although, at the time of the report, all four swore the event really happened. One of the men later reversed his story, stating that the group had invented the interaction in hopes of media attention. The remaining three swear their experiences were true, and they continue to share their story. The Verlon Broadcast at 5.10 p.m. on the night of November 26, 1977. Viewers in the area of Southern Television in the United Kingdom witnessed a very special event. News anchor Andrew Gardner was cruising through the night's standard headline. Viewers saw a small waver in the channel visual before all audio suddenly cut off. A voice came over the channel claiming to be Vrilon, a representative of the Ashtar Galactic Command. Vrilon told listeners that his people were an ancient race of spacefarers and that having watched over Earth for many years, they were announcing to its peoples that they must seize all violence in order to partake in a galactic awakening. The strange transmission ended and the channel returned to normal programming. To this day, it is unknown who interrupted that broadcast on that November the night. The Skinwalker Ranch UFOs. Located outside Bullard, Utah, Skinwalker Ranch has been the center of several alleged UFO encounters over the last two decades. It was purchased in early 1990s by Terry and Quinn Sherman. Soon after, they reported incredibly strange paranormal occurrences on the property. Through local news outlets and family detailed personal sightings of UFOs, disappearing cattle that return mutilated, floating orbs, animals with red laser-like eyes, and crop circles. The sight of several alleged UFO sightings started in 1970s. Since the 1930s, the ranch was changed ownership several times. Most recently, a Utah real estate investor purchased the property, blocked all access roads to it, and installed surveillance cameras and barbed wire fences, leading some to question whether deeper investigations into paranormal activity need to be conducted at the ranch. The Alaska Triangle, a triangle-shaped area with corners touching Juneau, Anchorage, and the very north city of Boro, has been the location of disappearances of 16,000 people since the late 1980s. As tourists and locals on land as well as individuals flying planes frequently go missing while traveling through the triangle. Many claim that rough terrain alone cannot be the cause of the thousands of people to go missing. Some bodies have been discovered, many have not, leaving questions regarding their final fate in Alaska's wilderness. The Phoenix Lights. On March 13, 1997, thousands of witnesses in Nevada, Arizona, and parts of bordering Mexico reported seeing countless bright lights in the skies above them between 7.30 p.m. and 10.30 p.m., now known as the Phoenix Lights. Some witnesses claim the lights were military flares, but experts cannot definitely explain the phenomenon. Two of the most well-known sightings during the period were a triangle shape of lights people claim to have seen pass over the entire area. Over 20 years later, residents are still trying to explain the sightings. On the event's 20th anniversary, Phoenix Lights Beyond the Top Secret documentary released in the Phoenix area to celebrate the event and spur further conversation and research.